gentlemen and ladies, welcome back to the channel. Up today we have another Adventure Force Toy Guns review for you. I'm talking about the Nerf Rival Ammo Compatible, Nerf Rival Battery Compatible, 25 round, fully automatic. Hold up, excuse me, did I say fully automatic? I meant semi-automatic. Team selecting Adventure Force Accelerator from Walmart. Oh my God, that was a mouthful. Give me a second here. start with the features and the ecstatic awesomeness of the Adventure Force Accelerator. Gentlemen, for the reasonable price, and I mean reasonable guys, $27.88 at your local Walmart, you're going to get all this Accelerator aesthetic awesomeness. <laughs> I tried so hard not to laugh during that segment. Oh my god. Starting in the back of the blaster, you're going to notice a tactical rail on one side as well as one on the other side. That actually serves two functions. One, it's a nice grip for your hand when you want to pull back on the battery door cover, which actually can be unlocked by undoing this screw right here. And then two, it actually comes with this dual sight, uh, two sight lines. It doesn't actually work that great, but it's okay. They gave you something. It actually folds down to go flush against the blaster as well as sits up. So you can actually insert it on either one of the tactical sight lines depending on whether you're a left-handed or right-handed shooter. Ambidextrous, Adventure Force got you covered either way. And as you can see, it gives you a nice sight line down the side of the blaster as opposed to the top where the actual hopper would block your view. You're not liking it on the right-hand side, no problem. Quickly switch it over to the left-hand side and you're all set. As discussed in the Adventure Force Titanium review video that I did, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click that card popping in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. It'll take you to that video. But I discussed these team selecting swatches. I absolutely love this idea. I think it was so simple and so cool. You could be team blue, team red, or team green. And they simply snap in in the drop of a second, just like so, and you're ready to roll. Moving back up to the battery on the accelerator. Look, you can go ahead and put 6D batteries if you want to. I'll tell you the truth, I hate, I repeat, I hate D batteries. I hate purchasing them. I hate the weight of them. I hate how long they last. They just burn out too quick. If one drops, the performance in your blaster is going to drop. It's just crappy. So the fact that Adventure Force had the foresight to actually make it Nerf Rival Battery compatible where you can charge this, man, big huge thumbs up. Huge. Because that is massive. And the second you just drop this in, you can feel the weight just drop down in the blaster. It makes the blaster extremely well balanced. There is a slight lean to the front, but nothing that's going to hinder you from using this blaster at all. Because you're always going to have your second one on there to help with the balance. I am a big fan of the whole grip trigger, rev trigger assembly, as well as this little guard here. I can't even explain why. I just actually like it that my finger can push up against it. Don't ask me why, I have no clue. Also has a trigger lock mechanism right here, but who wants to use that? You want to shoot not hinder yourself from shooting. Love the 25 round hopper they include with the accelerator. It's extremely narrow, aerodynamic, and that's actually nice. And the balance of 25 rounds gives you a really nice capacity so you can actually feel like you're firing for a while before you need to reload. To simply remove it, you're gonna push up on this little orange button here and pull out the hopper. When you're ready, insert it back, snap it in, and you are ready to go, my friend. Rev the flywheels and fire away. Sometimes you gotta shake it a little bit, but as you can see, it performs quite nice. Here's where the jam door is actually located. I have yet to have a jam, but this actually gives you access inside here in case you need to clear whatever might have happened. He's pretty nice, I gotta say. Time for Nerf Rival Ammo. Nice, I don't think I missed one of those boxes at all. And finally guys, the Headshot Glow in the Dark Ammo. Come on guys, talk to me. What's your opinion of the Adventure Force Accelerator? Drop it in the comment section. Let me know what your feedback is on this wonderfully low priced, high quality blaster. I gotta tell you, the trigger response was pretty nice. It averaged 92 to 93 feet per second on the chronograph test. 
with a 25 round capacity, rival battery compatible. Man, there's a lot to love here.